getting ready. And we are underway as John Collins ends up with the tip. The Jazz have had the best offense in the NBA, number one in offensive rating over that span. Here's Sexton bouncing underneath. Great position for Collins and the finish. Claxton reverses it in, plus the foul. A chance for three for Nick Claxton. Claxton completes the three-point play. Here's Markinen cutting through, flipping up, off. The follow won't go. Another chance is good. Just off the drop, there is a disadvantage on the contest. In the corner, that three is good. Found money as Chris Dunn knocks in a three. Here's Thomas coming off 37 in the win against Houston. Thomas will pull and hit. Nets unable to take advantage of the five on four. Sexton that time misses wild again, but marking in there for the foul. That's not the play that you want to save it maybe for a little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, even if you're correct there, you're going to have to wait. <laughs> As Bridges splash on a jumper. There's three out here. Save him for a crucial time in the moment. That should be a deciding factor in the game. That's when challenges should be able to be used. Johnson brings in a three. The absence for Finney Smith, who's been about as good as any net this season. Well, look, the Nets are not lacking in wing depth as you see Lowry Market and knock that down. All applause, not overwhelming, but positive. Here's Ben in transition. Off to O'Neal, the rhythm dribble, and the hit. If he's able to get Mikhail Bridges two easy shots, if he's able to get Cam Thomas two more easy shots a game, yeah. that is a huge difference in your overall approach. Collins, the C's part, Collins lays it in. Simmons was able to poke it back to O'Neal. Missed that one, Simmons keeps it alive. Thomas connects on a three. And Ben Simmons having an immediate impact. You know, that was like a double rainbow, Richard. That was a rebound assist. You don't see them often, but when you do, it's 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 they're all inspiring. They are. And it's right there, I'm really curious about that defense. Walker Kessler all the way in the paint. Uh, Lonnie Walker was naked coming off of that three. And, and now Smith on the steal and the flush. Hearing, fishing, Clarkson. Elevates and knocks down the mid-range. Jordan Clarkson has pretty much every shot that a shooter can have. But he's definitely a big part of what they're planning in the future. They tried to give him the start early on. I think some injuries, Laurie Markkinen not being available. I think those were the things that kind of put them behind the gun as Claxton with the nice finish. But I think Dennis Smith Jr. just avoided some spillage. As Kessler in transition lays it in, Jock Vaughn was thinking about a timeout. Well, and it also ended with that with that George three. So that momentum, and now here they are starting. The Nets have to answer. Nice move there. You looked at me and was like, did he just travel? That will be the Webster word of 2024. Jefferson's Dictionary. Yeah. Awkward. Riz was last year. Next year it was awkward. Yeah. All right. I got you. Ben Simmons returned. He had six assists in four minutes as Dinwiddie short on a three follows it up Cam Johnson wide open connects on a triple it's the same every time he shoots quality shots feet set elevates just great form there but not great form on that defense there this is the second time you've seen a back cut by the Utah Jazz here's Thomas floating it up doesn't get the roll Simmons is there for the tip Looked like Olenek might have gotten away with an offensive foul as Clarkson the soft leg. Thomas is three. You bet. Dead three. Simmons behind the back. That one a little off target. Here's Thomas who has 14 in the half. Thomas again just getting to the cup at will. With speed, leads for O'Neal. No. Bridges the board. Off to Thomas. He will fire. And hit. Cam Thomas is a show worth watching. I don't like the way the Dodgers circumvented the cap. 
<laughs> Thomas can't finish. You might be onto something there. In the corner, Fontecchio connects on a three. Oh, it is a very tough stretch. And look, there's very few easy stretches in this league because you're dealing with professionals, but those are the best of the best of the professionals. Johnson knocks down a three. Good start to the third for Brooklyn. Dinwiddie. Bridges, the soft touch, rolls home. 17 for Bridges. Here's Sexton. Elevates, can't finish. Collins inside with the flush. Made an immediate impact. Dinwiddie wanted the whistle, didn't get it, or the bucket. Claxton, one-handed rebound, two-handed flush. But he has maximized every bit of his ability. Good movement here, shot clock fading, done. Connects. Talked about it before, he shot it at a good percentage this season, 39%, doesn't take a ton. 19 for Bridges, 19 for Thomas, they lead the way for Brooklyn. Chris Dunn bounces to the corner, Fontecchio nearly had it stolen, Collins ends up with a bouncy lay. Fontecchio. Sexton, hooks it up, Collins lays it in. 10-point game, Nets have led by as many as 21. Five to shoot. Johnson with two to shoot through the legs to the rack. Cam Johnson with a late shot clock highlight. Gorgeous highlight. Here's Dunn, his third of the night on three attempts. They're 17 and 7 since. You want to go a week later. They put Chris Dunn in the starting lineup. They're 14 and 5 since. They have the third offense, 17th defense, and Simmons rocks their rim. Former GM Kiki Vanderway, I believe, was on that squad also. Had yep. three guys averaging 20 points a game. Johnson attacks and finishes. Here's Smith, shovels, Claxton gets denied by Kessler. And Utah's in a zone right now. The Nets have to figure out how to get it in the middle and then kick it out for an open shot. There you go. Bridges in the corner. Thank you for listening, guys. I am just glad that everybody's going home with a new word they can use in their lives. Thanks to you. Uh, most of the people that are watching this are at home, Ryan. Oh, that's not, no one in this building can hear this. <laughs> Bridges, he got it. The minute you see a zone, you should get excited. Somebody has to give themselves up and get to the middle, and then everyone eats around them. Oh, Kessler eats there. Yes, he does. Nice five. Claxton with the two-handed hammer. George off the dribble, missed it badly. Utah now six for 21 from three. That's sub 30%. Claxton again, rocking the rim on the run. Dennis Smith Jr. the delivery. Here's Sexton. Sexton gets denied by Claxton. Was hawking him the whole time. Walker up under and in. He never had control of that possession. Great job by the Mets. Lob to the rim, Dennis Smith Jr. A big smile. Did what he on target. Eastern Standard Time. The Utah Jazz have already pulled their lineup. They're keeping some young guys out there. Right now, it's just about the Nets maintaining, not giving them any life. But they got a 25-point lead. Omer Yurtsevin called for that foul. Here's Johnson. Backdoor, Bridges. Oh, the left-hand hammer. 33 for Mikhail Bridges. Here's Giles in the corner. Sure. Harry Giles. A and great embrace by Will Hardy and Jacques Vaughn, two very, very good friends, like you mentioned, from the same coaching tree, Greg Popovich. And what a win for the Nets, an impressive win for the Nets.